So when you have an outcome, it's got to be within your identity. It's got to be within who you are as a person, right? OK. I'm going to give you another word. Shouldn't. All right? Really important when you're trying to figure out what you want to get in life and how you're going to get it. Well, Kev, I really shouldn't eat shellfish, and I really shouldn't eat pork, and I really shouldn't eat beef, and I really shouldn't. What's going to happen with that person? They will. Of course they will. Scott, you shouldn't have wine. Scott has to laugh. I don't. There's a big difference, isn't there, between shouldn't and don't, right? Yeah. Right? OK. And if you say, I can't, that leaves one door open, right, to influence, right? If you say, I can't do it, Kev, oh, wait a second. Dude, I can convince you. And I probably could. If you said you couldn't, if you can't, I can convince you. But if you say, I don't, that's identity. That means he's not going to. Words matter in outcome-based thinking a lot. The words you use shouldn't, should never enter your, vo your vocabulary if you're going to do something. Do and don't, I will do this, is the outcome. So this never comes into question. Kev, do you think I can do it? I hate that question. It means you haven't heard me talk to you enough. The answer is, if you have to ask me that question, you're an idiot. No chance for success whatsoever. Zero. Kev, I will do this. This is how I see myself as a person. If I failed at doing, accomplishing this, short of having a heart attack, losing 14 relatives, and having a total disaster in life, it'll happen. And I am OK with contingencies, by the way. But you going to have wine next month? Right there, did you see how that came off? You going to have wine next year? No. No. Do, do, you, do you understand that certainty level? Do you get that? You, you, it's certainty. It's, pot, I mean, it's, like, it's a guarantee, right? It's, it's just, it's next year? No. Come on. Chocolate, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but wine? No. no. So that's how I know the outcome will happen. When you say it to me like that, then I'm positive, and I will tell you, yes or no, you'll be able to do it or not. It's extremely easy to tell people whether or not they're going to tell whether people will get their outcomes or not. There's super important. Can you come more often to events, Bob? You ask the best questions right now. Scott, he's taken over, uh, just to let you know. I'll catch up. Okay, thank you. All right, this is your, this is your desired self. This is a very real being right here. You can't see it. It doesn't matter. I can't draw. So I drew a circle over here, all right? And this is your desired self, who you really need to be as a person to have lived life, fulfilled what you want to do, to be rewarded with what you need. And then there's over here, this is who you are today. If you are everything today that you've ever wanted to be, why are you here? OK? You shouldn't be here, really. If you're everything that you ever wanted to be, I want to I wanted write some more fiction, you know? So you are here today. This is who you are. This is mostly uncomfortable, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> OK, uncomfortable, really uncomfortable. And as you move towards your desired self, this desired self, you got to be able to sit in that person. You have to be able to go. My desired self is, is that when I'm approached with, let's just use alcohol because we're there. So um, I'm just, it's just not going to happen. I don't, I don't drink. Like as I see myself out three years from now, why? People always say, Kevin, how can you know? You can't know. Really? Have you ever seen me late for an event? Have you ever seen me walk in 30 seconds late? Never. Never. It's not possible. I don't know how it's possible. How could that happen? So here we are moving into our uncomfortable but desired self. By the way, when you get to your desired self, do you know you're going to have problems that you've never had before? Oh, this is why outcomes don't stick, because you never knew what was coming. OK, so let's go back now. So now we have our outcome. Here's what we want. And this is best stated in both forward and reverse. I do not ever want to deal with x, y, and z again. So I don't want x, y, and z again. This could be a very long list, by the way. And I positively want a, b, and c, OK? Positively. 
and be fairly descriptive when you're looking at your futures. We know the law of time, the law of time. When you go out into the future with a client, you take them out and you say, hey, you could go do business with them. If you do business with them, you'll probably do fine. Okay? And then, but if you do business with us, I can guarantee you one thing with absolute certainty. I will be here every single time you need me. One